good morning guys from our second full day here in Erbil, Kurdistan and today is a huge day because Yad Upton and I and our man Govind up here who is a Kurdistani native, right? You're from uh, the Erbil area? He's Ankawa uh, neighbor. Ankawa yeah, neighbor. Especially this neighbor uh, living the Christian people. Oh, okay, yeah. sweet, sweet. Yeah, very interesting. Govin's actually gonna be taking us around for the entire day today, all around, uh, we're gonna be outside of Erbil, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, outside of Erbil, uh, Rwandos, and Bekhal Waterfall, Gali Ali Bak Waterfall, Hanzat Castle. So you guys heard it, that's going to be Yo. a jam-packed day. So much we're gonna be doing and seeing today. And we're picking up, we've got Upton here. He almost fell off the curb on his way in. <laughs> yeah. What's up, guys? Yeah. All right, I gotta stop and get a Red Bull, guys, because uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna try out my Curtis here. Yeah, here we go. So we're gonna see if we can find a Red Bull right over here. And we're not seeing. Oh, we got a big monster up here. That's gotta do. That's gonna do the trick. Bonnie Bashi, bro. How we doing? Just gotta get a monster. How much is it? Uh, this 5, is 2,000. And this? This is 2,500. Oh, perfect. 5, 5, Thank you. Enjoy spas. It's a good thing they came in. I had no idea how many uh, DNRs that's going to be. Yes. All right. Well, I'm not a huge energy drink person, but when the time is right, got to get a monster going, get us flowing, get the, uh, the vlogging voice ready to go for the day. Here we go. Back. Kurdish dance in uh, Badini accent. Also, they say it uh, Govan. Ah, uh, okay. Dance. Can you do the dance? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you'll have to teach us later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, how far away is the first place we're going? First place we go to the Hanzat Castle. It is near, close to Arbil, around uh, 25, 20 minutes. Perfect. Yeah. After we go to the Gali Ali Bak waterfall. Oh. It's around one hour driving. Okay, perfect. Yeah, after we uh, go to the Hamilton Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this road uh, I will explain all for you when you come back. Perfect. Yeah, after to Rwandus, it's town between two canyons. So uh, nice. Oh. Originally, I'm from there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, that sounds beautiful. That's when we needed the drone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here there is the problem for drone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Everyone who have a drone, he need the permit, yeah. yeah, permission yeah. for government. Yeah, we. And sometimes it's very difficult to getting this permission. Yeah, we tried yeah. to get it yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah. Because yeah, they took his drone. Uh, the government took it at the airport. Really? Yeah. So we were trying to we were trying to get it back, and we're hoping to get it back in four days. There it is guys, that is the castle we're heading to right at the top of this little hill. Right, we're pulling in. Is it free to get in? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. We got the uh, the dirt road leading us right up there, yeah? Bonnie Bashi neighbors. These little ducks. Oh, little ducks. Bonnie Bashi ducks. Oh, we've got chickens here. Bonnie Bashi chickens. Right next to the castle. All right, we are walking up on the castle right now. We've got a steep little incline to run up here. Ah, oh, it's a nice temperature today too. It's got a light breeze out. I would say it's probably 30 Celsius out. So very, very enjoyable. And it's called the uh, Bonman Castle. Bonnie Bashi Bonman Castle. I keep repeating Bonnie Bashi because that's how I like learn to speak like some of the words in other languages. I just say them so many times. So hopefully that doesn't annoy you guys too much. All right, so as we're walking up the stairs here, uh, Govin's gonna explain us some of the history of this place. Yeah, this uh, Hanzat Castle building in 1818. Oh, wow. Uh, 1818. One thing, his name Bak. Oh, so he, it, had, it had its one year anniversary then, yeah. like three years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. So he building uh, such as a gift for his wife. His yeah. wife, she's named, uh, she's named Hanzat. So this Hanzat. castle, yeah, belong to her name. Yeah. And they living here together around until uh, 1843. Oh wow. Yeah. So they had many generations of family exactly, living here. Exactly, yeah. And his uh, man, 
Yeah. He ruling in this area. This area all call it the Khanzat area. Oh, it is very wow. touristical place for the Kurdish people. Wow, it's beautiful out here. Yeah. Nice views of the mountains. Pretty modern village over here. That mountain, that uh, town, call it Masif Salahaddin. Masif Salahaddin. Yes. Masif Salahaddin. Oh wow, Masif Salahaddin. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I gotta work on my Kurdish pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> This road is very new. One year yeah. ago, government opening. There is a tunnel. Oh, wow. Yeah, we don't have to pass in the mountain. Oh, you can yeah. go right through it. So they carved a hole in the mountain over exactly. there. There is the tunnel. We yeah. passing the mountain. We don't across the climb the mountain. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, and we have made it to the top. It doesn't look like we can get in though. Looks like it's been around since about 1,000. Yeah, it looks like they're closed today. Hello, Bonnie Bashi. Looks like it's almost like a jail through that side. Not a bad place to walk out on the balcony though. Cruising around here, looking out into the views of the mountains. It is definitely an enjoyable, enjoyable view out here in Kurdistan. It's interesting, the way these are set up, it almost looks like little compounds you know all right we've got some visitors coming down we've got some uh what are those goats goats and sheep <laughs> you see him he heard me <laughs> <laughs> they're like oh that doesn't look like a normal goat or sheep and then they look up and see me <laughs> what a scary sight for them oh we've got some other tourists hello Upton saw the sheep so he went chasing for him <laughs> he loves getting up close <laughs> yeah look at Upton down there Oh my god, how many <laughs> <laughs> He saw him and he was gone in 60 seconds. Govind, what's going to be next on the agenda? Uh, next stop, Gali Alibag Waterfall. Oh, yeah. yes, who's ready for some natural beauty? I know it's I am. Around one hour driving here from Arbil to. Waterfall. Oh, one hour driving, all right. So we'll get a nice little road trip through the mountains? Uh, yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. So it's a beautiful drive, like a lot of nice views? Exactly, nice, very nice. That'll be great. You guys know what to look forward to then. We're probably going to see some. We will show you the Hamilton Road building in 1928. Ah, Hamilton yeah. Road. Hamilton, wow. he's engineering, New Zealand engineering. He came yeah. to Iraq and he's first engineering building the road from Erbil to Iranian border, to Haji Omar. Oh, Iranian wow. border, yeah. So that's a huge project then. Yes. That was... It's very, you can see in the mountain, he created the road by the simple tools. Really? Yeah. Wow. So. And he brings for the workers a food and something. Oh, they can barely get up there. Oh, and we're kicking them up and they made it. It's been a success. Upton's getting dusted. <laughs> How are the sheep? How was the interview? He declined the interview, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not doing any. Uh media this week uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. but i was impressed how the chief just like went off and he like took five minutes and then catches up with them I'm like, yeah. how do they know where to go yeah exactly they, they've got a gps up there <laughs> so, he yeah. seemed really bored of his job oh was this the one in the interview with upton i think so hello 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 all right guys back in the car on to the next spot yalla Okay, good news is we actually have one stop that's gonna break up between the waterfall and now, which is a one hour drive. We're gonna be stopping over at Saddam's, what is it, guest house? Tan Kronis. And now we go to see the, this uh, Tan Kronis. Perfect. So this right here, uh, this is the highway that they recently built, right, Govin? That yeah. they carved into the mountain? One year ago, we uh, opening this uh, road. Wow. Yeah, we don't uh, climb the No more climbing mountain. the mountain. Oh, yeah. so this saves a lot of petrol. Yeah. And here we go. All right, and we have just arrived over to the tanks. They're called the tanks? Ah, they're tanks. They're actual tanks. Three tanks, yeah, Russian. Oh. There they are, there's the Russian tanks. Look at these things. Salam alaikum. Thank you. Zor Spas. So these are the tanks. We've got one tank. We've got tank number two here. 
Yeah, they definitely look like the uh, the Russian style. Yep, they're real. That's for sure. Oh, there's there's number three over here. Salam alaikum. Can I go inside? Yeah, I can climb on it. Perfect. All right, we're getting on the tank. Whoa. Oh, they're slippery. They're very slippery. Can we get in here? Nope. Can't get inside the tank. And we got the Curtis flag riding high. All right, so I wonder why they're pointed this way. They're all pointed in this direction, up at the mountain. A little gato. Oh, hello. Hello, little one. You're watching over the tanks? A big bad kitten watching over the tanks. Whoa, you're vocal. <laughs> you like belly rubs or no? Hi. Oh, bit me. <laughs> See, this is why they recommend whenever you get shots in the US, they say don't pet animals in the wild because sometimes they bite. And that one bit me, but no broken skin. So I think we'll live another day. So in 1991, after Saddam losing the Gulf War against Kuwait, destroyed and losing the power. And now you see those tankies uh, still until then during that time here. Two people uh, see how the Peshmerga stopping the Iraqi military. And until that now, even that now, the Iraqi military, Iraqi government, Saddam, losing power completely in the Kurdistan. And Peshmerga uh, getting a power and Kurdish people create a government. Uh, region for the Kurdish people. Very good. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. Well, we got a little secret passageway down here. Govin's bringing us to the secret spots. They've got this place very nicely decorated. Oh, here's the uh, memorial over here. And right there, we are all Peshmargas. As long as we live, we will liberate the fatherland from vampires in here. Succeeded the Kurdistan's will of survival and resistance. In this vicinity, the resistance of Peshmarga stopped and crashed the full equipped invaders. At this present location, roared Peshmarga like thunder, Edther, Kurdistan, or death. That's good. So we're cruising around here. Gives a nice little wraparound. They have it nicely decorated at this memorial of everything that's gone down here. It's funny, this little kitten has been chasing us around the entire building. I wish I would have brought some food to feed him because he looks pretty hungry. Yes. But no snacks for him. Hello. Hello. So how many years ago was it like being here as a foreigner? Would it be dangerous? Never, never. After 1991, the situation is very uh, good, very good for the foreigner. Especially uh, 2003 until 2006, there is just some problem because there is the, in Iraq civil war and yeah. America attacking Iraq and Saddam completely destroyed. There is some supporter of the Saddam, they making a problem maybe. But uh, after 2008, the situation it is very okay. very good for uh, the okay. foreigner. Yeah, wow. So after 2008, so really not that long ago still, like 13 years ago, it was maybe a little dangerous. But, you know, interestingly enough, coming from the United States, you wouldn't necessarily know that Kurdistan was even at that time as safe as it yeah. was. So it's, it's, it's quite interesting, you know, being here and getting a firsthand understanding of like how Iraq is actually split into Kurdistan and Iraq. Because honestly, before I arrived here, actually probably before I met Yad in Dubai, I really didn't know that it was basically split into almost two separate countries. Yes. Just the, I think the United Nations doesn't recognize it as two separate exactly. countries, right? So. And uh, most of the foreigner tourists from United States coming to the Kurdistan. Really, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Most, yeah, it's mostly tourists from the United yeah. States that are coming now, so. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I honestly didn't know how many tourists had actually been here, because there's not no, that no. much content yet on YouTube, and so yes. that's why we have three vloggers here that are gonna be filling it up. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, bro. So guys, pretty crazy overall to be here, and that is where we're gonna go ahead and end this video. We have more videos exploring all around this area of Kurdistan coming up in the next one, so make sure you look out for tomorrow's video. We're gonna be heading up to the waterfall, which you will not wanna miss out, and so much more on the tour. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you can smash that like button, it helps so much. And if you hit that subscribe button, you'll see a lot more videos here in Kurdistan and all around the world.